Hello, it's Dale here. I'm just going to talk a little bit more about like things for collage and this time brown paper. And uh, I've done things with brown paper before, but I like playing with brown paper. Uh, and so I've got my Sennelias. That's my huge big box there. Um, we sell the Sennelias and I just love, I love them really. So on my brown paper, and the reason I'm doing this again really is because people keep asking me. One of the things you'll notice when you work with the Sennelias, if you have a look, when you layer over one colour over another, and you see the layering that happens, it's not with all of them, but I'll just put a few down here and we'll see how we go for colour. So it looks absolutely nothing because I'm only mucking around. And this one here. And we've all got brown paper bags. They're everywhere and I've got an awful lot. And they make wonderful surface for uh, painting and stitching, cutting up and using in your journals, um, sewing machine stitching, etc., etc. So I'll pop those out of the way. And what I've done with this one, these ones I've done here, is I've crumbled them all up. And I've got a stays on stamp pad, which I've rubbed over the top. I haven't done that this time. I haven't got it with me, but I'll spray it with some colour instead. And you can see how the wax resists the spray. And so it gives us, changes its, what's happening a little bit. So there's something you could have for a page. I'll pop it. Here's another one down here that I just did earlier while I was trying to get the iron to heat up. And this is just spraying on the paper and what beautiful colours you get mixing up your sprays and the mica that's in them. And then this one here is a piece of um, like glad bake that's had uh, sprays sprayed on it. And what you can do with that, I was going to show you a couple of using foils. I don't, everybody always think everybody knows what foils are, but apparently they don't. So the foils are... Um, it's a layer of colour underneath. You always apply them face down like this or face up looking at you. And you use them. They come in all sorts of colours. And you use them until they completely run out. Um, if you don't waste any, they'll go on and on for a long time. So if I put a little bit of fusible webbing on the top of here and just down there like that and add some foil over the top. You must have the fusible webbing, otherwise it won't stick. And then iron it. I'm using a little iron today because my iron's packed it in. And lift it up. And where the, where the webbing was, it's transferred its colour. And the colour is underneath you put it on this way with the colour facing up to you and it removes it from underneath. If you do it this way, which is what everybody wants to do, all you do is wreck your iron. And then I am just going to show you these here. These are called um, hot spots. Very hard to actually see. But they are tiny little spots of glue. Um, I'll pop it onto here so you can we'll see. We'll iron it on. Make the piece of glad bake again. And iron that down. Peel off the brown. And hmm. in situation. Oddball today, but we take off the, the brown part. It's not all coming off, as I said, must be the weather, but anyway, where it was, just see here, and we'll put down a little bit of my foil again and just iron it. Right down. And you can just see a little bit where the spots, the spots were, as it, not as effective as it might be. And I've sort of shown you these before, so the hot spots are really, really quite interesting. Just sort of 
sheets of tiny, tiny little spots. So it's like a fusible webbing, but on a sheet. So just finally to finish off and show you, I think what I've sort of showed before, that's your piece with spray and the pastels, beautiful. Um, and again, as I said, you could put the um, on that surface, use the foils, and then you've got a wonderful uh, stained glass background. But these papers are so lovely, and you, of course, can stitch them, weave them, cut them up. But just think of that as part of something you might cut up to put in one of your journals. So I hope that's been a little bit useful. See you again another time.